I want to thank you for joining us. Uh, we're out in the beautiful uh, Blue Ridge Mountains in uh, North Carolina. Today we're looking at a 1973 highly modified show car here. Uh, this is an award-winning uh, Carmen Ghia, and the owner's uh, going to give us a, tell us a little bit about the power in this video. So as I walk <laughs> over here, uh, I can tell this is something special. Uh, you look in here, and of course you got some beautiful work that's been done. The actuator here that raises and lowers the uh, the deck lid for the back of the car here. Of course, you've got a beautiful cell battery over here. And uh, and you've got some nice chrome work going on. The Volkswagen I had uh, did not have this on it. And uh, what, is, what is that over here? Okay, that, that is from Vintage Air. That's their, uh, their little miniature uh, AC okay. uh, compressor. Compressor, okay. Yeah, and so uh, they don't offer a kit. Okay. So I had to build my own uh, mount for it. Okay. Which is this mount right here. Okay. It goes. It went where the fuel pump used to be. Okay. And, uh, so it's electric fuel pump. So, okay. So um, I built that and mounted it here. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, this this engine uh, looks a lot different from the '69 bug that I had. It's got a lot of a lot of nice features here. Uh, this is originally a, an original Volkswagen engine to begin with. Is that correct? In, in a roundabout way. Okay. It, it is a Volkswagen-ish engine. It okay. started out, though, with a new case. Okay. And built up. Okay. So that's that, uh, the aluminum case instead of magnesium. Okay. And it's already been um, uh, modified for, for the uh, stroker. Okay. So it's 84 stroker, 90.5 cylinders. Okay. Uh, which uh, works out to 2161 cc. Okay. Um, now I see you've got uh, you got these stacks on both sides. Uh -huh. Now, uh, so this is um, electri electric electric uh, ignition, but now are they, they still use carburetors? Correct. It is. Those, okay. those are forty eight IDA Webers. Okay. Uh, modified for the street. Okay. They, this engine handles them well. Okay. Um, they're uh, uh, they're very dependable. Mm -hmm. Has the velocity stacks. Oh yeah. And the little filters. Okay. Um, and uh, the uh, fan housing mm -hmm. is an early style okay. instead of the Back later in here. Okay. As you see, with no heater ducts. Yes. And uh, so those are gone. Okay. Because it now uses 12 volt electric fans. Okay. Um, and is it what is this over here? This gauge is that f fuel pressure? Yes, yeah, fuel pressure. Okay. Three and a half pounds. Okay. So it's set for. <clears throat> okay. Please. And this is this is the uh, crankcase ventilation. Okay. One comes off the crankcase here. Mm -hmm. The other comes off the valve cover on this uh, left side. Okay. Uh, this um, ex um, um, distributor. Distributor. Yep. Uh, electronic distributor. Yep. Um, uh, now I noticed your battery over here. You've mm -hmm. got a special mount. Looks like it's custom made just for that battery. Yeah, it is. And also. Oh, uh, if you, you remove, remove the battery, uh -huh. there's a little door back here. Right. And that's where a remote spin-on oil filter is. Okay. So, so you so you actually are going through a, a modern-day filter on your oil. Modern-day filter. Okay. It goes uh, from the unit uh -huh. right under right. here. Okay. It goes over into the uh, wheel well to right. the filter, back out to an oil cooler, which oh. is uh, with, with a uh, fan. Yeah. Which you can control on the dash. Yeah. Uh, uh, well, that's handy yeah. because with an yeah. oil cooler, that helps preserve the engine. Oh, yes. But also, uh, you got a fan on it, so if you're in uh, stop-and-go traffic, the fan will keep that air going through there. Right, right. And I guess you use pretty good oil in it. I do. Um, I use the... Uh, I'd have to... Yeah. Have to synthetic synthetic uh, oil? It, it's the um, oil... Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. can't pull it up right now. Yeah, but it's a, is it a synthetic? Yeah. Or is, it, or is it high, high? Okay, so it's probably high in zinc. Yes, exactly yeah. for the aluminum. Okay, yeah, yeah that's what I've heard right, that right. you want to use a high yeah. zinc type yeah. oil for air cooled engines. Porsches are doing the same yeah. thing now too. So, uh, so I'm, the engine's got um, the, those what's called super wedge heads. Okay, uh, and everything's been uh, CC'd and um, uh, flow benched. Okay, and by Whitey. Washing okay. German automotive and okay. culture. Okay. Okay. Well, that's really that's really neat. 
So this is, it's a beautiful car. Now, did, did they've done any, uh, any dyno work to check this out? I have a dyno sheet on it. Um, I'll have to pull it up to see yeah. the exact numbers. I think it was 157 foot pounds of torque. Okay. 151 point something horsepower. Okay. At 5,800 RPM. That's great. So I tell you, I, I, my 69 Volkswagen had 53 powerful horses with it. <laughs> yeah. And this one's got probably almost 100 more than that one. So as light as this car is, that's got to really make a, a good ratio, power to weight ratio on this. So this should really handle. I'm looking up here too. I don't remember seeing this on any <laughs> Volkswagens. Actually, that uh, I, I was into... Uh, Suzuki Samurais. Okay. And that's their little emblem. They had okay. a five speed. And I yeah. thought that might be not too tacky yeah. to paint it up and yeah. stick it on here to to let uh, yeah. people know that it has a, a five speed five transmission. Speed transmission. <laughs> and then I noticed over here, love the plate by the way, but I noticed <laughs> this. Now this is also a third brake light. And also a third brake light. And then right up there is another one in the back window. So that's going to help keep uh, people aware that you're putting your brakes on. And speaking of brakes, let's look over here. Uh, you got some serious brakes on these, yeah, front these are, and back. Right, these are a, a unit front and back uh, from a um, company, and they're called the uh, Bad Ser Mad Series Brakes. Okay. Uh, and uh, this rear unit incorporates uh, the emergency brakes. So uh huh. That's good. Okay. <laughs> front one. Uh, is the uh, also except you do use the Volkswagen caliper. Okay, that's that. And now tell me about these wheels. These are uh, these are sweet. Yeah, these are from Billet Specialties. You have to order them to for your offset and everything. Okay, so they make these. You order them and then they make them for you. Uh, yes, and now um, when you order this uh, uh, Mad Series uh, brakes units, um, you can get whatever bolt pattern you want. These are Chevrolet bolt pattern. Okay. Okay. Now, I noticed in the front that you've got some really cool headlights on here. I don't think these are stock. Uh, not hardly. <laughs> uh, the turn signals are... are, are oh, down here line. in the lower, right down here? Mm -hmm, that's okay. turn signals, Okay. Yeah. And uh, park lights uh, are, are in the grills. Parking lights in here? Yeah. Okay. Now, also, I look up here, and you've got these little lights in the back of these... Uh, Really cute little mirrors. Those are yeah. those are downsized. What did where those come from? Uh, those come from a, a company uh, out of Canada. Okay. Uh, they make different sizes and shapes, and and it just seemed like this was the perfect one for this car. Yeah, you got them on both sides. Both sides. And so you've got that to give you a little extra view of what's going on, and then also their turn signals. And also the turn signals. Well, I tell you what, that's that's pretty amazing. I look back at the back brakes here, and it looks like you got some beautiful Pilot Sports on here from Michelin. Uh huh. Correct. So that's uh, that's uh, can't beat Michelin. That's terrific tires. Well, I tell you, I appreciate you taking the time to show us this. Oh, let me ask you about the exhaust on here too, because oh, yeah, exactly. we looked at the motor, but we didn't look at the exhaust until I was putting my hand down there. Okay, that's called uh, A1 exhaust. Okay. And. Actually, it comes with uh, the, the uh, pipes turned down right here. This okay. Makes it turn down. And I, yeah. I didn't like that, so yeah. I built these. Okay. And just modified it and uh, TIG welded them on. Okay. And I also cut the, uh, the baloney Oh, yeah. At two different lengths. Yeah. To, kind of, to match the curve yep. of the bumper. I also hear that by doing that, you also help with the sound because sometimes they get a little funny when they're both there, like blowing oh, yeah. over a Coke bottle. Yeah. And it looks like all stainless steel type exhaust on there as mm -hmm. well. Right. Oh, yeah. Here's another thing I spotted. What is this? Okay. Those are, <laughs> those are blue dots. Okay. And uh, that's just an old school oh, yeah. hot rod thing. Yeah. And uh, when you put with your lights on. Yeah. Uh, you get the light right, your right. lights look like they're purple. It's red and it has a little bit of purple to yep. it. Mm -hmm. Well, I tell you what, this is this is a uh, beautiful car. I got to say, I bet you spent more than a weekend on this one. More than, more than a weekend. <laughs> it, it, it took me three years to build a car. My engine builder in his spare time built my engine, and it came together about the same time as well as the Berg 5-speed. Oh, man, it all came together just like you needed it. Yep. Well, it's a beautiful car, and I have to believe this has like uh, won some awards. It has. Uh, uh, it won the uh, it 
um, Knoxville at the Street Rod Nationals okay. South. Right. Um, it, it won uh, out of probably around a thousand cars. Uh, the uh, best. Uh, uh, the favorite 49 and newer. Oh, okay 49 and newer class yeah well that's great and, and i tell you uh you'd showed me earlier this was also a uh, feature was it uh hot vw's or hot vw magazine yeah There's a sticker on the window there that okay on. yeah uh, and this was a feature in their magazine right uh, uh two page spread on the oh, front man. cover a little picture yeah well, I tell you what, anybody who's had a Volkswagen or loves Volkswagens can relate to this. And uh, and it's just a beautiful car. And to be able to see that uh, this car has been uh, built to this level and the paint. And I also noticed you did take off the door handles. Oh, yes, the door handles, uh, the, the, the door entry, um, the uh, engine lid. Mm -hmm. And... Um, Power windows, even yeah, when yeah. I had them on it, uh, uh, all works off your buttons. That's terrific. Well, it's a beautiful job, beautifully done, thoughtfully uh, engineered. And like I said, uh, so many of us that grew up in the era of the Volkswagen can relate to this car, but to see one that's at that level is absolutely just. Uh, Brings back a lot of happy memories. Now in here, oh, you've got also a plug in there? Yeah, I got two plugs for oh. charging your phone. Okay. You know, I didn't have that in my 69. Didn't yeah, I had no place to charge my phone. Okay. The, the uh, windshield washer now uh, is working off an electric. Okay, instead of off the spare mm -hmm, tire. Right okay, yep. mm -hmm. okay. And this is beautifully done in here too. Wow. And all the switches and gauges and everything are, um, are Ron Francis. Okay. And the, the switch here. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow, I can hear it. the fan. Yeah. For the oil cooler. Yeah. Now, now this steering column does have a uh, emergency flasher here. Okay. But because I had an extra hole here. Yep. I decided to put it there put instead. Put it there instead, yeah. okay. Oh, so that's the emergency flashes. And can you, you can tilt the steering wheel too, right? Oh mm -hmm. yeah, look at that, up and down, that's mm -hmm. great. Well, I tell you what, there's so much going on here, it's hard to even take it all in. But I want to thank you again for showing us this beautiful car. And uh, what, what was the color, by the way? That, that is, um, um, it, it came out in 93 okay. on the Nissan Vans. Okay. And that, probably other vehicles, yeah. but um, it's uh, called uh, Wild, Nissan Wild Cherry. Wild Cherry, yeah. Uh, color code AK1. Okay. Well, that's, that's a beautiful color, and I tell you what, it really, really shows this car off. Well, I want to thank you again, and uh, thank you for joining us. And I tell you what, uh, this is going to find a new home. It's going to be a lucky person out there because I think they're going to load that puppy up and yeah. clear the clear the top of their uh, mantle at home because well, this, is, this is a winner. One thing about it, it's, it's bad to the bone. It's fast. It's fast too, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's great to be good looking <laughs> and fast. And, and, um, and, but it, I've never abused it. Yeah, I can understand that. I can understand that, so. Well, thank you very much.